you know, I always worry when we do a video like this is that everybody thinks we're going to show everything. Oh, there's no way to do that. There's just too many vehicles here. There are so many different RVs, uh, well over a thousand. And uh, already in just the first few hours, we've covered about four and a half miles of walking here at the show. Um, so while we'll do our best to show you a bunch of different RVs, we're going to be rather serendipity in what we show, kind of the things that catch our eye. Unfortunately, there's a lot of things that catch our eye. So, uh, in fact, haven't you been telling me to close my eyes? Yes, I have a couple of times. So stay with us and uh, we'll show you what uh, we found interesting at the 2023 edition of the Florida RV Super Show. I like puppies, I like rice. I like a brand new RV, that's nice. I'm going to find me one right here at the RV Super Show. I'm going to sweat my stomach. Okay, one of our followers named Ed asked us to shoot something called the Platinum 4 from Coach House, and it's right here. And this is new, so let's go look at it, Ed. All right, Ed, you ask. Okay. Now, Coach House uh, makes a really high quality class C. I mean, there's, I don't, I think they're, they're pretty hard to beat. And you can just see coming in right away. Look at those beautiful chairs. Oh, Ed. This is so comfortable. This is the most comfortable seat I have ever sat upon. And look at this little table or workspace, Mike. This has two slides, one where Jen is sitting, and then back here, wow, this is a class C. This is so roomy. Wow. And this is the bedroom in the back. Isn't that nice? Big queen bed on a slide. See the slide? There you go. And uh, here's a shower. Nice shower, and uh, the bathroom is right here. Got to operate it with one hand. There we go. Oh, one of those fancy new sinks, ceramic toilet. I like the fact that they have the bathroom separate from the shower. The toilet separate from the shower, and I bet yeah. there's a door there. There's something that you could close that off. Um, Maybe not. Maybe I'm looking. Well, yeah, you could. Between the bedroom and the bedroom. yes, between the bedroom there is right here. There's a there's a sliding door. Very nice. This is beautiful. big refrigerator. Oh, that refrigerator. Yeah. This is a nice big sink. Ed, yeah. good choice. And how long is the wait for this? Two years to get two, one of these. Two years. Two huh? years. What's a rough idea of the cost? What'd they say? I think about two fifty. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Boy, this is quality. Now, if you get it on a Ford chassis, it's three months. Three months. Yeah. Oh. Ed, you did good in telling us to check out that coach house. They are really a beautiful machine. I should point out that this uh, Platinum 4 is on the Ford 450 chassis, and the length of this thing is 27 feet. Get up there, Dylan. Get up. Yeah. 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 Timber. <laughs> It is hard to beat an Airstream. An RV show isn't complete without going at least going through at least a couple of Airstreams. And it's always hard to beat an Airstream that's called the Classic. <laughs> is that why this is the most comfortable sofa I've ever sat on? Hey, come look at the back of this Airstream. This is the International. Look, this window actually pulls out and you have a screen so you have this wide open area to let the outside in and two twin ba beds in the back. I Air like stream. it. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. That's the first I've seen that. Come check us out, it's Camping World. So these are all the million dollar plus class A's that uh, they show over here. They make you take the shoes off, your shoes off when you go inside. I can see why. I mean, these are not a million dollars. These are like two million dollars. Two million dollars, they might make you rinse off your feet. That's right. That's probably what I would do if I 
had a $2 million RV. Here is a familiar brand, Road Trek. Pretty much all on the Dodge Ram chassis now. Look at the cool coloring on this one. White and blue. And this Zion in green and white. To line it all up. You see how- Oh, this is just too cute. Nice Thule rack on the back. Well, look who I find lounging. Oh, the colors are in the inside yeah, too. Yeah, the colors are really fun. And look how they have the screen. It's all ready to drop down. This is the new Zion. Spiffy new colors. Good Spiffy for you, Road Trek. And lots of storage up there. I really think this is fun. Road Trek has been around for decades now. Uh, they just make a really nice quality Class B. Uh, we've owned several of them in our past and have just nothing but great memories about Road Trek. Uh, it's kind of fun to see them here at the show. Uh, they've had a couple of different uh, owners and uh, now it's owned by uh, a French company and they are obviously back in big time. S slick new colors and uh, very, very, very practical Class Bs from a company that has uh, kind of like a, a legendary name in the Class B movement. In fact, I think Road Trek really started the whole van life trend. And um, good to see him here at the show. You are my sunshine. We can't wait to show you this one. Uh, probably the hottest name this year in the RV industry was Brinkley. And this is the company. It was started by some true pioneer uh, RV industry veterans who made some of the most successful RVs anywhere. If we told you their pedigree, it's just amazing. And they brought a lot of their friends who have years of experience and they are producing what may well be the ultimate in fifth wheels and toy haulers. They've got two models and it's going to be hard for us to show you because so many people are here. Uh, but we're going to do our best. We are really looking forward to going through this because they've won all sorts of awards and there's quite a crowd here. This isn't an easy one to get into. But we'll so, try, huh? <laughs> yeah, we'll try and show you. You'll see a lot of people in these, these shots, but uh, you'll see that. And also we're going to get a chance to visit with uh, one of the owners. We'll do the whole I like the black frame mirror, the black frame shower, the black faucet, black sink, and then the gold accessories, the gray veil. Um, this is the first time I've seen it. This, this is a pull out linen closet with adjustable shelves. So, like your arm Perfect. Whoa, it's still going. Uh, we're uh, a startup for all intents and purposes, but um, if you know our pedigree and our history, it's it's far from a startup. We have the best team in the RV industry, bar none. We want to just be a great company that takes care of the customer like nobody else. Look at the size of this kitchen. Uh, you can see the quality. Yeah. Front bedroom. Oh my gosh, is that... Just the decor is stunning. Look at the size of that closet. Air conditioning is on, so that's what you're hearing in the background, as well as all the people. Deep, deep closet. King size bed. You can walk around both sides here. Lots of room to walk around. So we first saw this Wingham from Italy uh, at the show last year. They had hoped to have it uh, be available for delivery in the U.S. last year. 
alas that didn't happen uh, but they tell us it will be shipping in uh, in the spring of 2023 it's a pretty neat unit let's go inside and uh, take a look uh, this got a lot of attention last year and I, I as I look at it for the second year I can see why people like it it's only getting better let's go inside so what do you like about this thing what I like about this thing this beautiful RV is how light and bright it is it's very welcoming this huge window that opens up you can get some air and cross ventilation with the window on the other side this is very attractive that it's it's just pretty and the bed is up here it drops down you can tell this is comfortable just by looking at it there are extra seat belts which I'm a big person in believing in four seat belts minimum thank you and this lowers and uh, makes into a bed I'm sure it's just um, it's very attractive oh self-closing drawers well it's a nice bathroom big sink this is a cassette toilet and you empty it through the outside uh, and there's a shower with a curtain and it's kind of a combination bathroom shower with uh, this uh, shower curtain that comes around. It's very comfortable. This feels a lot larger than what it is because of the colors that they chose to use. And this doesn't this really seem wide? It, it does seem wide, but I guess what I'm attracted with this thing is how nice this would be to run around town in as as a vehicle. It's, it's not that much bigger than really a, a, a small truck or even, you know, a minivan. And you've got room to sleep, eat, uh, everything you need right in here. And it looks like there's a rod up here for some sort of curtain, drapery. Yeah. And it looks like a shade on the other side. Yes, it is. A, it is a nice screen over here where you lift it up and you have privacy. In terms of storage, lots of stuff up here. Very nice. And then um, there's like a wardrobe there. Let's take a look at that. Lots of room here. We've got an upper part for that wardrobe with a hanging rod. And a lower part for your shoes and clothes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. The whole uh, other side of the rig is filled with storage. And this, of course, is on the, uh, the Fiat chassis. Very nice. What this feels like is nice and clean, bright, and open and cheerful. See this? This is from a company called Spacecraft. And it's in a partnership with Volta, the lithium battery people. This thing is huge. It's 54 feet uh, long. It holds 485 gallons of fresh water. It has 10,000 watts of solar up on the roof. And it's the largest lithium battery configuration on any RV ever. Uh, it has over 108,000 watt hours. Now what that means is that this thing can live entirely self-sufficient, off the grid, totally energy independent, for not a couple days, not a week, but for weeks at a time. And it's beautiful inside. So this bedroom, it's really nice, but it's also uh, pretty cool because this whole thing lifts up and this is a garage underneath that you can bring your EV, I guess, if you want. This is incredible. 54 feet long. Hey, hey Mike, you think it was tough parking ours? Look at this. You think you can get a job here? Well, yeah, you got, what, at least six inches you can work with. Good grief, that's close. Oh, 
lighted like a Yeti food. Nice bathroom, nice shower, separate shower. Everything you need, a big refrigerator. Lots of storage, we've got drawers, little cubby holes, places to put your everything. Nice stove with an oven. Wow, they packed a lot into here. Ooh, good cutting board. You know, this is four seasons. I mean, wow. true four seasons. Wow, that would, that would be nice to have. Not to have to winterize. And of course, pour your little curtain to go into the cab part. And I'm sure this makes into a bed. You can use this as your desk for work. Nice bed. Doesn't that look comfortable? I like this. Yeah, and look at the, uh, the way they've up. done storage on the sides, on the oh. sides of this thing. And a so the TV. drawers go up that way. Little TV is back here and it's got an arm on it so you can swing it around. This is everything you need. And I think it's, it's great. You can use it for a season. Does it get any better than that? Not to have to winterize, not to have to have that threat of uh, inclement weather. This is pretty cool. They've put a mirror on the a full a full length mirror on the on the refrigerator. Who is that handsome guy anyway? I really like this. Four season. You got the truck. I don't know how hard this is. You gotta need a new truck. We're gonna. We need a different truck. I've only got a three quarter ton. Come on now. You know, Jen. You can't have everything you see. The only thing you got going in your favor, because I really like that, is that we would have to get a larger truck. <laughs> well. Now that's, a, that's what you hmm. are. You can get your. You can't have truck. a large enough truck, as no, far as I'm concerned. Never too big of a truck. Well, I never thought uh, of us in a, we've never camped in a truck camper, so well, what, maybe we need to try that sometime. We do need to try that sometime. And what that's, like I say, got going for it for a season. Man, you got to be excited about that. You pee. We can yeah, just live up there. <laughs> Let me think about that. Bo would like that. Oh, yeah. All right, there's more to see, but remember, I you can't, can't have, have everything. Rats. <laughs> Gift to be here, a blessed gift. Yeah. Welcome everyone, Willie's Washboard Jamboree. Welcome to be here to the RV Super Show. You know, I kind of consider this like the pop up camper of long ago. Okay, I gotta go inside this and check it out. It's nothing like our pop up camper that oh, we had yeah. when we first started. This is gorgeous. This really is nice. Yeah. Wow. It's very roomy. There is a it? wow factor here. I like it. You know, I think this would fit a lot of people's needs nicely. Looks like there's a bed up here. I'm sure that makes into a bed. It looks comfy. There's the pilot. Hi, little buddy. Come down. So we're at the Gretsch RV display and uh, we've seen these guys for the past couple of years but the reputation for these Gretsch RVs all in the Sprinter chassis is, is phenomenal. Stainless steel bolts that they use to put it together. High quality. High cost. They're like $250. Uh, that's probably a pretty average price but they are beautiful Class B vans on the Sprinter chassis. And we're going to take you in kind of the flagship, uh, the Strata Ion. And uh, well, I, I don't even know if I can if I can begin to show you the quality of this thing, but Gretsch RV, if you have not checked them out and you're interested in Class B's, you got to see it. So Jennifer's going to walk you in, and we'll see. It starts with four seats, Jen. Yeah, four seats, four seat belt. Oh, and seat belts back there as well. So uh, I like it. It's neat, clean, crisp. Sofa bed, big kitchen. You know, you can tell kind of the quality, just looking... Just touching the leather. There's the control center. Yeah, I don't know if, I don't know what kind, if that's real leather or or that uh, ultra leather that they call it. But I'm it's, sure it's the ultra leather. Oh, but you're just looking for a place comfy. to sit down. Oh, can I buy one of these and put it in my living room? <laughs> the seat. Look at that window that oh, you got up yeah, there. Oh, yeah, great, great view. Yeah. Uh, and this, of course, is this beautiful... Uh, uh, Mercedes uh, Sprinter dashboard with the huge display for navigation. 
great comfort seats, all the bells and whistles. Uh, TV up front, um, really quality cabinets. I like those latches. Oh, look at that hardware. Uh, here's your battery control stuff. Really nice, your DVD built in, not just banging around out there like so many people have. That's a substantial cabinet, listen to it. Latched. And then more storage over here. And look, it's all felt insulated, so things aren't rattling around. If you got dishes in there, they're not bouncing around and making noise. This is really nice. The number one feature is air suspension. Oh, I didn't even get to that. Yeah, air suspension. Am I stealing your thunder? <laughs> no, you're telling me why we really like this thing. Air Having suspension. air suspension. You want that. Trust yeah. us. After 10 plus years, that's what you want. And the fact is that this... Now, we have a soft spot for Class B's, as we, we said. We do. We love Class we B's. Out in. Um, but air suspension makes it so nice. Uh, Beautiful countertops, induction uh, cooking. You got, this all becomes part of the, I don't know if that's a, it's a near king size, if not a full, but great quality, really comfortable. Seat belts all around so you can take people with you. More storage up here. And again, you can see nothing is gonna bounce around in there. Control here. This is for the shades. This is amazing. This is really nice. The bathroom. Let's open the bath and see what that's like. This is always the that's big it. test. Yeah, you have to open it. There you go. Ceramic toilet. Big sink. Nice faucet. And this has a uh, built-in ring for the shower. And uh, wet clothes, just a little touch. We first saw this in the Airstate Interstate many, many years ago. And this is really nice. This is a, a clothesline that will come all the way across. And uh, I don't want to waste time pulling it out, but you this will all do. come. Yeah, it comes it's across a, into a there. And then, yep, you can have wet stuff dry. This is very nice. You said the dual burners and a nice deep wow, sink. Wow, country sink, stainless. Nice. Beautiful. Nice little blue ambiance. All of them have blue lights and I had to ask about that because I thought maybe you could make them white or, you know, at least white and blue. But they went with the blue because it's supposed to help with sleep. Really? Mm hmm So all of the bands have blue lights. Well, there you go. They've got several different models ranging from the 19-foot Sprinter to this one, which is the extended length, which is uh, 24 feet. And I guess we should say we heard Ed Gretsch, the owner of this company what did he used to do he used to make limousines yeah so I mean making limousines people want quality they want comfort when you go in a limousine you don't want to bounce down the road Gretsch RV um, they uh, they have a well-deserved reputation for super quality in a class B Have you ever wondered about RVs being the same kind of boring colors? Well, just take a look at what Winnebago has done. How's that for not being boring? And over here, how's that for not being boring? If you want to be able to find your RV in the campground or the wilderness or wherever you park, you will be able to find it guaranteed with these orange colors. Hmm. Are those orange or red? They're kind of orangish red. I think that one's more orange. And that one's a deeper orange. You got, well, I got my sunglasses on too. But. <laughs> <laughs> they're but cool anyway, colors. That's all I can say. They're not white or gray. Or black. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. Okay. That's it. We're tired but happy we had such a great time at the tampa show and we hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did making it if there's an rv show near you we urge you to attend it's so much fun to dream that is it till next time everybody happy trails <laughs>